Now it's my pleasure to introduce a very special guest. She is an Emmy Award winning actress, producer, and social justice and human rights advocate. She starred in Will and Grace and has been honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the Woman in Films Lucy Award, the Gracie Allen Award, the American Comedy Award, among 50 more nominations. She's a star of Broadway who also is a human rights campaigner, an activist for AIDS awareness in Africa, the LGBTQ plus community, and so many other causes. And she's an outspoken, proud Zionist who's taken to the media, spoken at countless rallies, and traveled to Israel to bear witness and show solidarity. Please welcome the one and only Deborah Messing. And it's my pleasure to call on CEO and co-founder Roz Rothstein to present a very special award. So we need voices right about now from people like you, Deborah, and people like Ari and Brett and John. We need your voices right about now, and we are deeply, deeply appreciative to all of you. Deborah, you give us strength, honestly. Uh, this is the Guardian of Israel Award, presented to Deborah Messing for your inspiring leadership for Israel and the Jewish people. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's an etching of Jerusalem. You can't see it, but it's amazing. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you, Roz, for that uh, beautiful and incredibly meaningful honor. And, and thank you for creating an organization whose purpose, educational tools, and wide reach could not be more critical than at this moment. Like everyone here, October 7th shook me to my core. And then on October 8th, the unthinkable, people in the streets celebrating Hamas, blaming Israel and saying those slaughtered, raped, and kidnapped people deserved it. I was so confused and horrified, my profound grief turned to existential fear. And then the denialism and the dehumanization, the delegitimization of Israel's sovereignty. And the calls for intifada made me think how alone the people of Israel must have felt. The world was against these victims of a barbaric, sadistic genocide. I felt compelled to go. I grew up with two very proud and active Zionists for parents. Israel was their spiritual home, and during my childhood they went on six missions, returning with even more passion and devotion for the Jewish indigenous homeland. I was taught that it was our obligation as Jews in the diaspora to protect Israel. It was precious. My trip to Israel was transformative, bearing witness, hearing personal stories from hostage families, survivors, hospitalized IDF soldiers, made the horror and the trauma very real. I was able to tell them that the people of the United States love them, support them, are praying for them, and are fighting for them. I promised I would share their stories and keep the hostages front of mind. What I did not expect to find on my return home was riotous protests, verbal and physical assaults, calls for the genocide of Jews and the annihilation of Israel on our most prestigious college campuses. And the world was silent. So-called social justice activists have been brainwashed 
and Jewish students do not feel safe. Our collective call to action must be to dismant the dismantling of the colonialist apartheid narrative. We must educate people about the history of Israel and the peace-loving, compassionate, inclusive, resilient Israelis who have lived there for millennia. We must teach the world that anti-Semitism, anti-Zionism is racism. We must help create spaces wherein difficult conversations can be had with open hearts and a focus on the humanity of all people, the exact mission of Stand With Us. We can do this. We can transform darkness into light. Through our celebration of life, community, music, and hope, by living authentic Jewish lives, we can change the world. I'm Yisrael Chai, and thank you.